OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. Anthony mentioned that we're going to be doing DaVinci Resolve and video editing. I noticed that Linda Minor applauded. Linda, do you do you uh, do video editing? Yeah, I teach a video editing class using online resources is the title. But we but we've never used anything as com complex as DaVinci. But so, you know about you know about DaVinci Resolve. Sort of. Oh, great, so, great. Thank you. Thank you. I we'll, we'll... No, I don't know it yet. So I'm okay. contemplating, do I want to get that complex? Oh, so okay. That's why, that's why I'm here. Okay. Well, fantastic. Thank you for coming. Anybody else? Uh, just, I, I just want to get an idea of uh, the audience so that I can tailor my presentation to, to you. Uh, if you're be all beginners or some, some uh, more uh, technically intermediate or, or advanced, uh, do we have anyone else who does video editing? Um, Paul, the only thing I've used is Screencastify. It's taken <laughs> over my life and, uh -huh. you know, I'm limited and I thought, ooh, I'm kind of curious okay. what this is, right? Because we seem to be making a lot of videos for We're, the teachers and Karen, <laughs> I'm so glad to hear it. Okay, first of all, the exciting thing is DaVinci Resolve is state of the art. Okay. It's, it's, it's state of the art Hollywood post-production and uh, it's it's there's a version that's for free, okay. okay, and it's it can be very very uh, complex in the things that it can do, it can work magic, and it could also be very simple. Good. <laughs> now you're talking you. my language. <laughs> and I want you to think about it in terms of like a for example a Microsoft Word, right? I use Microsoft Word, but there are only thirty buttons that I know, right? Like bold, uh, indent, underline, choose your font, choose your, and, and, and I've been using Microsoft Word for 25 years, but I've only, I only know 30 buttons, all those other things. Are, so just keep that in mind. That's the frame of mind we're gonna start from, okay? You're gonna be overwhelmed by the options and the choices, but you just need to know maybe 30 to 50 buttons, depending on how much to get started, okay? So here we go. All right, thank you for joining me. And I'm very happy to see you guys here. Uh, this is the creating and editing videos in DaVinci Resolve uh, webinar, okay? So today I'm gonna uh, walk you through the software and I, this is not really, it's more of an introduction of what we're gonna be doing today and a demonstration uh, of the software, and we're going to do that by turning a CTE classroom exercise into a, a video lesson. Okay, and in the process, I want you to see what the possibilities are and start thinking about how you might use uh, DaVinci Resolve to produce interesting, visually engaging content for your class. Okay, it's, it's not so much of, of a technical uh, webinar today, but an introduction. However, I will give you enough tips to get started, okay? So, um, as with any kind of a program, we always have to start with some system requirements, right? So, for DaVinci Resolve, they have three versions, one that runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux. The base requirement, that uh, the company Blackmagic Design that makes DaVinci Resolve requires 16 gigabytes of RAM, four gigabytes of video RAM, and 250 gigabytes of hard drive. You, you might not have uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, but I think or you might not have 16, but I think you might, if you have eight gigabytes, that might be enough, okay? Because DaVinci Resolve, is designed to, to be used for uh, very large video files, the kind of stuff that you see on television or commercials, uh, feature films. So if you, for example, the videos that I'm gonna be using today were shot on my iPhone, 
Okay, they were shot on my iPhone and I'm using my uh, eight year old iMac and it works fine. Okay, so DaVinci Resolve is made by a company called Black Magic Design. Let's go to their website. Okay, I'm going to open my browser and I'm going to type in uh, blackmagicdesign.com. Black and because I've used it before, it's already popped up right here, okay? And this is their homepage. As you can see, they make a lot of hardware. If you scroll down, you'll see introducing DaVinci Resolve 17 right here, okay? So I'm gonna click on this, and there's a fabulous introduction here to DaVinci Resolve. We're not going to watch this whole thing. I'm just going to come down and show you that it's right here. Download now. This is how much they want you to, to use it, okay? If you click on this, here you see, you'll see two versions. The latest version is uh, 17. And you decide if you want it on your Mac, Windows, or Linux machine, okay? This one is free. This is the studio version that you have to pay about $300 for. And uh, the studio version includes things that you will never use. For example, if you see here, it says uh, 3D tools, right? We're not gonna be making any 3D tools, so we don't have to worry about that. So if you click, for example, I, I'm on a Mac, so I would click this. And all you have to do is fill out your name and maybe answer these two questions, register and download, and you're good to go, okay? So what, what is DaVinci Resolve? Here's the exciting thing about this program. 15 years ago, DaVinci Resolve was only a color corrector, a color, color grading system. That means they work on the color aspect of a video production. And it was $5,000. But this company, Black Magic Design, you see their logo here on the upper right, they bought it and they added a host of other features. Here, you can see uh, there's a media page, there's a cut page and an edit page. These two are for editing. There's a fusion page for special effects. There's a color page for color grading and color correction. And there's a fair light page for audio mixing and recording. And the delivery page is where you output your finished video. Okay? So this company bought it, the DaVinci Resolve, and expanded on it and is making it available to the public because they want to be, uh, they want to expand the use of it. Okay? So here are some of the features we're going to look at. The edit, edit page. This is the edit page. This is where we're going to spend the majority of our time today, okay? Uh, we're, going to, we're going to import a video. We're going to learn how to mark clips. Mark clips means to set your in and out points for the section of the video that you want. We're going to talk about these seven ways to edit your clips. Insert, overwrite, replace, fit to fill, place on top, append at end, ripple overwrite. And we're gonna talk, go over these trimming tools, okay? And again, I just wanna emphasize that uh, although I will, go, I will go through these features with you, you know, if they're a little bit over your head, uh, don't worry about it. I want you to look at the overall a presentation today more than the specifics to see what is possible. And I'm gonna give you more tools at the end of the webinar, how you can learn these skills and how you can perfect these skills, okay? So we're gonna go through all of this today, transitions, uh, titles, okay? Uh, this is the color page. And this is where you will be doing your color correction and uh, color balancing color grading, and this is what uh, DaVinci Resolve is known for. 
out of all the television shows you watch, all the feature films on Netflix, Disney, over 60% of them are color graded with this software application, okay? This is the Fusion page. We're not going to talk about this today. This is something I'll let you uh, explore on your own. But you can see uh, this example here. Uh, what's going on is uh, they're doing compositing with a 3D model. Okay, so this is very advanced stuff. And uh, I'll give you a little glimpse into it, but we won't be delving into that today. Okay, this is the Fairlight page. And this is where, you know, you can build your audio tracks. You can record and mix the sound, okay? The media page is where you bring in your media and you output your clips, okay? So at the very top here, you can see there's an introduction to every aspect of DaVinci Resolve, including hardware. But notice here on the upper right, a training tab, okay? This is really fantastic stuff, okay? DaVinci Resolve has produced these videos that teach you how to edit the art of color grading. This one uh, you don't need because it's for people who have this, purchase this mini panel, okay? But visual effects and graphics, visual effects in 3D, audio production, you can download, you can, you can watch the video file here. or you can download the video and the project files and follow along. So if you wanna get, if you wanna learn the details, you can do this on your own time. Today is a general introduction to show you what's possible, okay? So uh, that's DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to launch the program here while I talk about the next thing, okay? So I'm gonna, Launch DaVinci Resolve. I'm what are you going to learn today? We're going to we're going to import and export video. We're going to go through some video editing basics, create some titles, transitions, color, record narration. Uh, we're going to do a basic sound mix. This is the whole process you would go through to make a polished video, and we're going to do it with a real world project that I did for a, a class of mine. Okay. Uh, I am currently uh, an IET instructor. I am partnered with a CTE cosmetology teacher at my school. She teaches the career technical, uh, the CTE cosmetology class. I am the ESL teacher. I help my students with the academic and language skills. She gave her students an assignment to partner up, choose a salon service, write out the steps and perform them. So the students decided to do makeup. And these were the steps to the, accomplish the task that they outlined, okay? Uh, cleanse the skin with aloe vera wipes is the first step, right? So while they were doing their, uh, the, uh, the makeup process, I, videotaped it with my iPhone. Okay, so you can start making videos with your iPhone, okay? So here, the DaVinci Resolve has opened up. I'm gonna start a new project, okay? This is an untitled project, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna double click on it. This is the menu that is offered to you after you launch the program. I'm gonna click Untitled Project. And here, throughout this training, I understand that this, this, uh, your video screen might look very uh, big and this might be hard to follow along, but I'm gonna be shaking my cursor. Can, can everyone see my cursor? I want, and I wanna be directing your attention. I might say, look at the top of the screen. Look at the left of the screen. Look at the upper left corner, the upper right corner or the bottom, okay? And I'm going to be shaking my screen. So uh, look, for, look for my uh, vibrating cursor. Okay, so right now, I want to direct your attention to the bottom of the screen. You can see here are the tabs to the different pages of the software that uh, the website showed us. Media, cut, edit, 
fusion, color, fair light, and deliver. Okay, so this is the first page. The media page is where we're going to bring in our media, where we're going to import the media. Okay, on the upper left corner, DaVinci Resolve automatically locates all the hard drives you have on your computer or that you have connected to your computer. So I have all my hard drives here. I'm gonna to go to the one where my video is, okay? And it happens to be here in the IET, the IET video hard drive, okay? As you can see, it's right here, connected to my computer via USB 3. And it shows up here in DaVinci Resolve, okay? So I'm gonna find the videos that I, uh, my student, that I recorded of my students doing the makeup exercise. This is the first one. And this is the last one. Okay, so I've selected all the videos that I shot that day, and I'm just gonna drag it into this media pool. Now all the videos are in my project. It's that simple, okay? It's that simple to import media. You, you're on your media page, you find your hard drive and the folder where the videos are, highlight them and just drag them into the, in, into the media pool. Okay, and now that you can work with them. The first page is the cut page, okay? Uh, the cut page was just added recently, a, a few years ago, and is, is basically editing. Okay, it's, it's where you edit. But there's also another one called the edit page, and they do the similar things. They, they're, they're similar. Supposedly, the edit page uh, has a few features that will help you uh, accelerate your workflow to meet tight deadlines. You know, I'm, I'm used to the edit page, so I'm just gonna stick with that. But if you want to, you can start editing your videos here. As you can see, you, once you import the media from the media page, they automatically appear on the cut page. And I'm gonna go to the edit page because that's what I prefer. If I go to the edit page and I, Look here at the media pool on the upper left corner. You can see a selection of tabs. One of them is media pool. I click on that and all the videos are here, okay? If I looked at the first video, this is the first step that the students uh, did to perform the makeup uh, exercise. And just as a reminder, what was the first step? Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes, okay? So I have my source window on the left, okay? And I'm just gonna randomly, when you, you can scroll through the whole video clip through this timeline at the bottom and you decide what part of the clip do I want to use, okay? You decide by setting it, say, I wanna start my clip here. I can set an endpoint here. I can click this and I'm going to play. And I'm going to click out point here. So as you can see, I'm going to use this portion of this clip because I've set an endpoint here and I've set an out point here by clicking these two arrows here, okay? And I can just drag this into my timeline, and this is my project, okay? It's that easy. Launch your clip by clicking on here. Decide which part of the clip you want by clicking the in and the out point, and just drag it in here, and you're good to go, okay? So I'm gonna go back to that original clip and say I wanna use this part. I, want, I can click these arrows to set my endpoint, my new endpoint or out point, or I can go here, mark in on the top, or I can use the shortcut. The shortcut is I for in, 
the shortcut for the out is the O. So every chance you get, learn to use the shortcuts. It's going to help you work a lot faster and more efficiently. Okay, so I want to use my I for in and O for out. Okay, so I want to, so you can see my, my old in and out points are here, right? But as soon as I touch I on my keyboard, it just resets. Okay, resets the, the in point. And I'm going to choose an out point here. Okay, and again, I could just drag that in to my clip. And now this is my project. And you can see the edit here. Uh, my project is over here on the right. This is the resource viewer window. This is the project window, okay? And you can see that I have an edit right there, okay? So here, uh, I'm gonna try this cut here, okay? It's, uh, and here's another clip. It, it's unfortunately upside down. It was one of those weird moments where you know, my iPhone was not able to uh, find its equilibrium, you know, and it just recorded the thing upside down because I was doing this a lot, you know, moving around. And I'm going to set my endpoint here by pressing I. I'm going to let the clip play. And I want to set my out point there. And I want to, instead of just dragging it into the timeline, there's another way to edit. I could drag this clip to the next window. And now I have a menu of options. I could insert the video, overwrite, replace, fit to fill, place on top, append at end, or ripple overwrite. I'm just gonna append it at the end. And you can see here, it was added at the end, okay? So let's go back to the, uh, the edit page to talk about some of these options, okay? So we mark the clip by setting our in and out points, right? We drag the clips into the timeline to create our projects. And we are going to learn the insert edit. Insert is when you put a clip between two other clips, okay? And you have several options of doing that, okay? So I'm gonna, because some of these clips, they, they look similar, I'm gonna choose something that's totally different, like, like this close-up, this close-up, okay? I'm gonna randomly set an in point here and an out point here. And look at, look at, look at where my timeline is. My timeline is, uh, is right here between the clips and I wanna put insert and look what happens. This clip of the, the close-up is inserted between these two clips, okay? And when, if ever you do something that you um, didn't want to do, you could always undo. So one thing I want you to understand is that do not be afraid to try things because you, just like Microsoft Word or any other program, you can undo. Look here in the edit page on the edit, undo, okay? So I can, I can undo that and I'm back to where I was, okay? So what I did was I put, I chose insert when I, when I dragged this over and it inserted the clip in between the two clips, okay? The next option is overwrite. That means it's gonna, I'm gonna place the clip here. Insert puts the clip between the two other clips and moves the clips on the right further back. You can see overwrite puts the clip here and it erases, that's what overwrite means. It erases the clips that are in that space. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate here. I'm gonna, you can see that the playhead is here, it's covering this shot, right? So overwrite is gonna erase part of that clip. Okay, so it, it erased everything that was here before, okay? 
I want to undo that. So insert inserts the clip between two clips and pushes the clips on the right further down. The overwrite puts the clip where your playhead is and erases the existing clips in that space. Replace is just going to replace that clip. Okay, so if I have this clip here and I choose replace, it's just going to switch this clip for that clip and it doesn't change the length. Okay, so you can see that that's what happened here. Okay, and again, I'm going to undo. I'm going to undo to bring the old clip back and fit to fill. So Fit to fill is similar to replace, but what it does is that it's going to take the length of the clip that you have and either make it speed it up to fit a smaller space or slow it down to fit a longer space. Okay, so uh, this is might <laughs> be hard to understand at first, but let me demonstrate. Okay, I'm going to shorten this clip. I want to make it really short. And Notice how I'm going to fit to fill. This is a short clip that is going to replace a long clip. Fit to fill. So you can see how this was slowed down to fit that space, okay? To fit that space here. I'm gonna undo that. So that's what fit to fill does. You ha I have a longer clip that I want to fit in a smaller space. So I'm going to speed it up so that it'll fit. And vice versa, if you have a short clip that you want to fill into a longer space, it's going to slow it down to make it play longer, okay? So here, uh, place on top. So if I choose this, I choose place on top, it's just going to put it above. And you might want to do that because if you're not sure, I'm not sure if I want this clip here. So I'm just going to place it on top, okay? I'm going to undo that. And uh, we did a pin to end. And then ripple overwrite means that it's going to, it's going to overwrite this and adjust the size. Watch. Okay? So it took away the other clip and it brought this one in. Okay? So those are the basic uh, editing features, okay? And you can practice on your own. To, to master them, okay? So right now, let's talk about trimming. Trimming is important because when you edit a clip, you're gonna make little adjustments to make that edit sharper, to make that edit smooth. And you're gonna do a roll, you're gonna do a ripple, a slip, or a slide, okay? Um, Let me uh, find one more clip here. Oh, this one, okay. I'm gonna go back here and I want, I want to use this clip, okay? So, uh, so remember, you can drag clips into the timeline. You can drag clips to the right and you have this menu option, okay? You can also, uh, there are icons here. There are three editing icons. You can see if I hover my uh, cursor over this, it says insert clip. You can click here or you can use the shortcut F9. Okay, I'm gonna click here and I've inserted that clip. Okay. So right now, what are, we're talking about trimming. Trimming is uh, how you uh, make your cuts cleaner smoother and more fluid okay and these are the things that you do you roll ripple slip and slide okay so here in order to activate the trim mode i'm going to click on this icon here if i if i just let my hover my cursor over it and let it sit for a second the name comes up along with the keyboard shortcut trim edit mode I can click on this icon or I can press T, okay? I'm gonna click on this. And what does this do? You can see I get this, 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 this funny looking 
cursor with two uh, brackets back to back. And if I click on this edit point, I can move it around. I can move it to the left and I can move it to the right. And if you look at, if you look at the screen here, on the left side, you'll see the tail of this, lat, of this clip. And then you'll see the head of this clip. And you can decide, oh, is this gonna match? If I do this, it might match, right? Now they're starting to look similar. Let's see what happens. So I moved, I moved it over here. So that matched pretty well, right? B because I moved, I rolled my edit over, okay? So roll means that you're gonna choose to edit and you're gonna move it to the left or to the right. Ripple, if you notice the green, you're just gonna choose one side. You're gonna choose one side to lengthen or shorten, okay? So here, I'm just gonna, instead of putting the cursor in the middle, I'm gonna lean to one side. And here, I can make this clip shorter or longer. But the right clip stays the same. Similarly, if I hover on this clip, I can make this shorter or longer, okay? So you, you can move both at the same time, or you can affect one side of the edit, either side of the edit, okay? So that's a ripple, okay? Slip, slip is when you do this. When you wanna take the whole clip and just move it around. You're not changing the inner out points, okay? So notice these inner out points do not change but the content changes, okay? That's what a slip does. Slide is when you slide the whole clip to the left or the right. And if I move this cursor a little bit further down, you can see the icon has changed. Now I can slide the clip to the left and to the right, okay? So, uh, <laughs> I know that was a lot, right? But don't worry. I'm just this we're, we're planting the seed right now in your head about what's possible and how you're going to be working with these tools okay uh, when you decide to work with the software and you go through the tutorials you'll see clearly how they work okay and 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 believe me it's not that hard okay so um what's next okay so I'm just gonna fix one thing. Uh, so let's let's use these tools, these trim tools you are you you use to perfect cuts. Okay, so I like starting the second cut here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, ripple tool to bring the edit there. Okay, and now maybe I'll even shorten that some more. Okay. And now notice this cut from this shot to the next shot. Okay, that, that matches nicely. Okay, uh, these are the only clips I'm gonna use today. So I'm gonna, in order to uh, have more screen real estate to work with, I'm gonna close this media pool by clicking on this tab on the upper left corner. I'm gonna close that media pool and I'm not gonna be looking at any more source clips. So I'm gonna click this icon on the upper right just to have one window. And that way I won't get distracted, okay? Oh, so remember this clip was upside down, right? Because my iPhone, uh, it just couldn't find its equilibrium for this one shot. So I'm gonna click on it. And if I look at this icon here on the upper right that says inspector, inspector, I have options to change certain parameters, okay? I can zoom in. You see how I can zoom in on that shot if I wanted to? Uh, I'm gonna undo to, to go back to the normal state. I can change the position. I can change the, it might be hard for you to see, right? But there's a, a slider here that says rotation angle, okay? So I can, I can change the rotation angle. I can flip it, okay? But this is hard to get just right with this slider. So luckily I, I remember my, uh, my middle school math, you know, the, 
it's what I what I really need is 180 degrees, right? So I'm just going to type that in. I'm going to type in 180 and click enter, and boom, it's perfect, right? So I just flipped it 180 degrees, and I want, let me let me adjust this cut now. Okay, so the, the the first shot. Hey, let's change this clip color so that we recognize this first shot. I'm going to change that first clip to orange. Change the second clip to. Uh, blue change this third clip to maybe maybe green just so that we can recognize them okay so the first clip maybe i could even tighten that up a little bit more right oops i need i needed that that trim mode right that trim mode remember the uh uh Keyboard shortcut was T. Watch, watch this icon switch to red when I click when I when I hit T on my keyboard. There you go. So, okay, now I'm in trim mode. You can see that this icon has changed. I'm gonna drag this closer. And if I play this, mm -hmm. that's that's a nice change. Okay. And I'm going to go from here to maybe there. And I want to make this clip a lot longer. Okay. So this is so far what we have. Okay. So um, we heard a lot of background noise and we know there's no dialogue here. So here on the audio track, I'm just going to click mute to, to shut that off. Okay. So now when we play it, you know, we won't hear that noise from the soundtrack. Okay. And whenever you don't need a window, you should close it so that you have more, you can use more of your screen. So the inspector here on the upper right that I use to flip that screen, I'm just going to click inspector again to close it. Okay. So this is uh, that first step, right? Cleanse the skin with aloe vera wipes. So I'm going to uh, copy that because I'm, I'm not very good at typing. Okay. And I want to add a title here. Okay. So let me direct your attention to the, the upper left corner. We had the media pool, right? The media pool is where all your clips are. We don't need that, so I'm going to close that. And now I'm going to open the effects library, okay? So here, are, look at all these titles that are just pre-made for you. You know, if you roll over them, you know, uh, you can audition them, okay? Sometimes if you uh, scroll left and right, you can see the animation, okay? I, I look at look at this. There's, there's a ton of them. Okay, this is really cool, right? So I know which one I want, and I'm, I don't want to, you know, go down and look at all of these and try to read. I'm going to go to the search. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to type in um, dark box text because I know that's the title of the 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 title that I want. Okay. Oh, there it is. See, dark box text. It just came right up. I'm going to, I just drag it. Look, I'm just dragging it right here. I found, I found uh, the title I want to use and I just dragged it in. There were, that's how easy it is. And I'm going to click on it to highlight it because I want to manipulate it. And I have to go back to the inspector. Remember, the inspector here allows you to change parameters in any clip on the timeline okay so here now this is what does it say here sample text and this is the sample text so i'm going to delete that okay and i'm going to i'm going to copy in my uh my sentence cleanse the skin with aloe vera wipes right okay and it's a little bit big so i'm going to go to the size here you see where it says size make that a little bit smaller Okay, and now I want to bring it down, right? So I'm going to go to settings, and you can see the position. So again, 
Whenever you uh, are not sure about something, click on it. You're not going to break anything. You're not going to mess anything up. Don't worry. Okay. So if, and once you make changes, you undo to go back to the previous state. Okay. So position, let me see. What is that? Yeah. I want to move to position, right? I want to move this title from the middle of the screen down position. Oh, oh, that's left and right. So I'm just going to stop that. I want to undo or I could, or, you know, or I could just highlight this and type zero. Zero will take me back, all right? So X, I just learned, was left and right. What about Y? Oh, Y is up and down. That's good. That's what I need. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go down. So I'm going to drag the Y parameter down. Okay, about there looks good, right? Okay. And when, whenever you see a red line here, that means... Uh, DaVinci Resolve needs to make that file. It needs to make this title with, with, uh, with that sentence, cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. So, and you can see that red line has turned blue, which means that it's done, okay? That's called rendering. It had to render that title, okay? So now if I play it, there it is, okay? It seemed a little short, right? And you know, we have ESL students. I, I would like that title to linger, linger a lot longer, right? So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna grab the end of that title and just drag it out. See, I'm just gonna drag it out, make it longer. And as you can see, that red line came back because DaVinci Resolve has to render that title again, which means that it has to create that file and you can see it turning blue, okay? Oh, can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, can you move the title in in the preview window by clicking on it to activate it and then using your arrow keys up, down, left, right? Uh, well, let's try it. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Linda, good question. You. It doesn't appear that you can because uh, that your left right arrows are mapped to this timeline. Okay, for example, if I you you see that you see the 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 time the time head here. If I if I hit my left arrow, this moves one frame to the left. Can you see that? Oh, so. Arrow keys are a shortcut for the cursor moving back and forth. Right, right, okay. Uh -huh. So if I move my left arrow, it moves one frame to the left. If I move it to the right, it moves one frame to the right. If I click the down arrow, it jumps to the next edit. Watch, I'm down arrow, next edit. Down arrow, next edit. Up arrow goes back one edit, okay? So that's what the arrows keys do. But you can, drag, you can, you can type in a number here, okay? You can type in a position number or you can hover over it and just drag. You see, you see that? Okay, thank you. Got it. As you can see, when you hover over, you can see that the, 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 the double arrows, right? Can, is that visible? Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, so again, so here it is. It's, look, the Vichy Resolve is writing, is rendering this, this title, is turning blue, okay? And notice how easy it was to make it longer. Make it stay on screen longer for your ESL students. Just pull the tail, okay? Cleanse the skin with aloe vera wipes. And it stays there. Your, your ESL students have time to read it, right? Okay? So, hey, that looks pretty good, right? Look, we, we made our edits. We added a title. What else do we need visually? Does a video ever start like that? No, you, you, need, a, you need a transition, right? You need... Usually it's, uh, what, what is it? It's, it's, it's fade up from black, right? Look, if I hover my cursor on the upper left corner of the screen, you can see there's a little white dot there. I'm gonna drag that out, okay? And that creates a transition, okay? That creates a, or listen, I'm just gonna undo. 
I want to, I'm going to undo. And now I'm back to my state. Okay. So that's one way uh, just pulling this little red uh, white square, or I can go to my effects library and I go to uh, video transitions. Oh, well, maybe not that one. <laughs> My, uh, my, <laughs> my video transitions uh, disappeared. Oh, you know why? Because I still have this dark box text here, okay? Let me delete that. And there it is, okay? So it, it, was, it was stuck on dark box text, okay? So once I cleared my search box, look at Look at these. Look at all these. Look at all these effects you have available to you. Okay, so if I just hover over it with my cursor and 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 go left and right, you can see I get a little preview, right? This is the drop warp. Look what happens. That's that's funky, right? Look at film strip. Hey, that's kind of cool. Let's, look at that. So I I get little previews. I don't have to do anything. I'm just moving my I'm just moving my cursor over each effect. Now, if I want to try it, I'm going to drag. I'm going to drag film clip over here, film strip, drop it there. And then uh, let me play it. Okay, that, that, that was kind of cool, but it's a little too, dr little too uh, dramatic for my students, right? So uh, cross-dissolve is, is the, the classic, right? Cross-dissolve, okay? Right, that's, that's nice and simple, right? And look, the cross dissolve is about one second. If you hover over it, you can see, you can see it's here, right? You can make it the dissolve longer or shorter just by pulling left or right, okay? All right, so just a recap. Uh, again, we don't need the uh, effects, titles, I'm just going to close this so that we have, and I'm going to close the inspector. And now I have uh, my project here. Look, so we've edited our clips, we've added a title, and we've added a transition. Okay. Now, what do we need? We need the voiceover narration. Okay. So uh, we're on the edit page. I'm going to go to the Fairlight page. Look at the bottom. I'm going to go to the Fairlight page. You can see the clips here, right? My video. And I'm going to... Uh, this, is, th this is going to be a lot for you to remember. So again, right now, I'm just going to show you how I've put together this project. You know, you're not supposed to remember all of this. It's a little technical, I understand, but I want to record narration. So I'm going to add another track, a soundtrack. I'm going to choose mono. I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to call it narration. Okay. So I'm going to call it narration. And I have to assign, I have to assign the, the uh, audio coming in to go to this track. So the audio coming in my mic is gonna come in on line one. And I want it to go here, narration, right? That's what I named. That's what I named this, okay? I'm gonna click patch and I'm gonna close this, okay? And in order to record, I have to click this R, R arm for record. You can see that, that means Ready, arm means ready. ready. And then you, you could, could hear, hear I'm, I'm getting feedback right, right now because I'm speaking into the mic, mic and, it's and it's coming, coming back, back from, from my computer, computer system. system. But here, here I, I can adjust. I can adjust, adjust my microphone, microphone level. level. Okay. okay. And, and when, when I'm, I'm ready, ready, I'm just, I'm just gonna, gonna click this circular, circular dot, dot here. here. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn, turn off 
uh, my, my computer, computer so while, while I record, record okay? okay? Cleanse, Cleanse the face, face with, with aloe vera, vera wipes. wipes. Okay, okay, so, so let's, let's listen to that. that. Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. Maybe, Maybe I, I, you, know, you know, I'm, I'm not, not happy with that delivery. I'll try another one. Yeah. Cleanse, Cleanse the, the face, face with, with aloe vera, aloe vera wipes. wipes. I'll try, I'll try one, one more. more. Cleanse, Cleanse the, the face, face with aloe, aloe vera, vera wipes. wipes. So, so, <laughs> okay. okay, turn that off. Okay, so um, I did three different versions, right? And if I open it up, they're, they're all here. Let me uh, change their color so that we could uh, identify them better. This one is a, remember, this is a, something that you could always do to better identify your clips. Okay, change their colors. Okay, so listen, let me, let me listen to each one. Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. So it's always going to play the, the one on top. If I want to audition this one, I, I'm just going to switch it to the top, bring it up to the top. Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. Okay, that one sounded a little uh, pretentious, so I'm not going to use that one. Let me try the pink one. Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. Okay, uh, I think my, my favorite was the, was the blue one, right? Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. <laughs> okay, as you can see, uh, that, that was the best I could do. I'm not an actor. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the volume of these two by dragging this line. As you can, you can see the audio, you can see the audio waveforms just disappear as I pull it down. So now all I have is this. Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the edit page. Let me direct your attention to the bottom of the page. By clicking edit, I'm back here. And look, my, audio's, my audio track is here. You know what, I'm gonna delete this one, you know, and I'm gonna delete this one, okay? And let's hear it in the context of the video and the title, okay? Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. Okay, so the voice came in a way before the title, right? The title is here. And what I can do is I can drag this over, see, to time it better. So I know that the, if you remember, my titles need to animate up. They animate up and here they go. And the first time we see the word is, oh, let's try that. Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. And the titles stay on screen for my, stu my ESL students. Maybe I'll even make them a little bit longer, right? Because you know how ESL students are. They, they need time to read, okay? All right? So, all right. Uh, what about some music? Okay, we could, we could use, a, this, this piece could use a little music, right? Okay, so remember, remember the media page? This is where we brought in our, our media, right? Our videos, right? All of my hard drives are here. But there's an even easier way, believe it or not. So I'm working in the edit page. I'll open my media pool and I could just drag stuff right into here. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna find I'm gonna find my hard drive. I'm gonna go to uh wait music. And I like this song here, stepping something to the top. Okay, so in, in order to bring this file into my DaVinci Resolve project, I'm just going to drag it in. I'm going to, I click on it. I'm going to drop it right into the media pool. And now the song is here. Okay. Guess what? I, did, I forgot to show you this. You can resize things. So I can make the window smaller to have more. Uh, real estate down here to work with. Okay, so I have my song. 
in order to use the song, I'm just going to drag it in. And there it is. You can see the sound waves, okay? And just like, just as with the transition here, you can see there's a little tab here. I'm gonna pull this over and I'm gonna have a, the song is gonna come in nice and gently now, okay? Okay, so I have some music. I have my titles, I have the video and, but I couldn't hear my voice, right? Because the music was too loud. So this is where uh, the next phase is, is called sound mixing, right? Sound mixing is when you balance all the audio elements that you have in a feature film. What does that mean? Uh, there's dialogue, there's music, there's sound effects. Sound effects could be, you know, uh, street ambience, birds, cars passing by. And the sound mixer's job is to balance all those elements so that you can hear them all and they contribute to the feeling and atmosphere of the scene, but you can still hear the dialogue. So you, can, you see this white line here that runs from left to right on top of the, the, the sound clip. I'm just gonna drag that down to reduce the volume. And let's, let's see how that sounds. Cleanse the face. Still a little too loud, right? Maybe go a little bit softer, okay? Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. So that worked, right? So I'm gonna, that song is very long. I'm just gonna make it shorter, okay? And so far, this is what we have, okay? Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. Okay, so quickly, uh, need to move a little bit quicker now. We have our edit, we have our title, we have our narration and music, and we've balanced them out, okay? Now I'm gonna go to the color page. Color page is here, okay? And remember, this is what DaVinci Resolve uh, was, is famous for. Okay, six, at least 60% of everything you see on TV and in the movie theaters are color graded and corrected by DaVinci Resolve. So what does that mean? So first you're gonna color balance. Simply to do that, uh, let me direct your, your eye to this corner here. You see that eyedropper? You see the eyedropper? This, you choose this and you click on something that you want to be standard white anywhere here that you want to be white. I, I want this board to be white. As soon as I click, you see how it neutralized the colors? Did you, did, I don't know if that comes through on Zoom, but I'm gonna undo. And this was the state of the video, okay? I'm gonna grab my uh, eyedropper tool and just click here. And now it's neutralized. And for me, that looks a lot more natural, okay? And I wanna boost it just like, uh, wait, let's, let's go back to the page. Uh, Color. So essentially we did this, right? There was a little yellow, yellow, yellow cast and we made it neutral, okay? And now we're gonna do a color boost. Okay, we're gonna do a color boost. The color boost feature is on the lower left corner. Uh, do you see it here? And I'm just gonna raise it a little bit. Listen, if you're ever not sure of what to do, go all the way so that you can see clearly what that feature does and then you can pull back, okay? So, so don't go up incrementally and, and try to figure out what it does. Go, oh my God, oh, that's what it does, right? So I'm, now I'm gonna pull back. I'm gonna pull back and look, you could have this kind of look or, or something warmer like that, okay? Actually, I'm gonna undo that. <laughs> okay, so I, I want to reset that. I'm going to double click on, on, on color boost to reset that. Okay, so when I double click, these numbers turn to zero. That, that means reset, okay? Th these things here on the, it's ca are called nodes, okay? I want to create a new node and I want to put the color boost here, okay? 
Oh, that looks nice. Look at her face. That looks nice, right? Nice skin color on her face, right? I'm gonna turn off this color node and you can see how nice her face looks now, right? It might be a little strong. I could pull it back a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna add another node. Right now, I'm just showing you, uh, this is a, a little bit advanced, but I'm just gonna show you what DaVinci Resolve is, is famous for, okay? Let's, let's work, because this is about makeup, she's gotta have beautiful skin, right? So uh, let's work on her skin, right? We balance the frame with, with white. We add a little color boost. Now I'm gonna select her skin by choosing this eyedropper, okay? And right now you can see, I just selected her skin, okay? And whatever I do now is only gonna affect her skin, nothing else. For example, if, if you wanna test it, I'm just gonna drag this color wheel to blue. You can see it's just gonna affect her face because I've selected only her face and masked everything else out. I'm gonna undo that. Okay, instead of adding color, I'm gonna to go to my effects by opening here, open effects. I'm gonna type in uh, something called beauty. And it's right here, okay, beauty. And I'm gonna crank up the amount. Okay, can you see how her skin is smooth now, has, has smooth, smoothened out? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, Okay, so her skin, if you ever wonder why those movie stars and singers on, on music videos and movies have such wonderful skin, this is one reason why, okay? So look, I have these three nodes here and do I have to do the same thing for these two? That's a lot of work, right? Uh, no, so I'm just gonna copy them over. I'm gonna highlight this, I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna click my middle mouse button and look what happened, look what happens. Now those three nodes are over here now. And if I want to take a look at this mask, look, it has it adjusted itself for these two shots. And if I look at the, these two shots, look how, look how nice her skin looks. Okay. Look, how, look her skin is practically glowing, right? Okay, so if I go back to the edit page by clicking on the bottom here, this is, this is uh, what we have so far, okay? Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. Okay, so what I would do now, that's just the first step, right? I would go through and continue in the same manner with each step of that lesson, okay? And just as with the, uh, with the, uh, the color uh, enhancements, you can copy the effects over. Learning those tips will help you move more, work more quickly and smoothly, okay? So here, one thing is I'm gonna need to make another title, right? So if I hold option, if I hold option on my Mac, I don't know what the equivalent is on the, on the PC, but it's a similar function, okay? Well, it's called Alt. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Linda, thank you for coming today. <laughs> so hold option on the Mac or Alt on the PC and just hold it down and just drag it. Look, you're, you're automatically making another copy. And then now I can just go into uh, the inspector and write in my new, and copy, I don't even like to type, right? I'm just gonna copy here. Protect the face with vitamin cleanser. Whoops. And oh. Okay. Uh, so those little tips, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this. Those tips will help you work a lot faster, right? I, I didn't spend any time typing because I had my list up, right? I just copied and pasted the text in. Okay, so right now we have to output this. So we, we, we've made our video. 
Okay, I'm gonna to go to this deliver page. Look at the bottom of the screen. Deliver. Deliver is where you're gonna output your video. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a name. I'm gonna say aloe vera. Okay, I want to browse to the location that I want to save it in. Okay, I'm gonna browse. It's a uh, I'm gonna save it to my desktop, okay? Save and add to render queue. So it's, it's here, okay? Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you, that's really, really cool, okay? I'm gonna go back to the edit page, go to file and quick export. If I choose quick export, look, I could set up my YouTube account and it will, I could set up my YouTube account and it will make the video and upload it directly to my YouTube account. My, my Vimeo account, my Twitter account. I could set up, sign in and set it up. Whereas it'll, it'll write the video and upload it to all these accounts at the same time. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so again, I wanna cancel out. I'm going to deliver, remember, I'm at the deliver page, right? Everything looks good. I clicked add to render queue. The queue is the line of all your projects. Remember rendering means writing the project. I'm gonna click render all. So now it's, once I click render all, it's gonna make the video. So you can see that green line, the progress bar advancing to the right, okay? And again, I have, so far my Mac's been working out okay. And it's an old one, it's eight years old, okay? Done, look at that. So now, ah, the video's here. Oh, here it comes. Cleanse the face with aloe vera wipes. Okay, so uh, that is a little sample of what DaVinci Resolve can do. Right now, I'm just gonna show you the completed video that I actually made for my class, okay? Apply, I... So this was the actual video that I made using all the clips and going through all the steps in the video. The, the, lesson, the lesson that uh, my students did, it took them uh, 40 minutes to do the whole makeup process. The final video is uh, four minutes. In the professional world, they call that a, a 40 to one shoot, shooting ratio, right? Like in a, for, imagine a two hour movie, they will shoot thousands of, of, of minute, I mean, uh, you know, uh, hundreds of hours of footage to make a two minute to two hour video, right? So, so let's, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you watch that video that we, that we made, okay? It's, it's right here. Oh, we don't see the video. Oh. Cleanse the skin with aloe vera wipes. Wait. Uh. Protect the face with... I chose share screen and... Oh, oh, oh here. So, okay, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Here it is. Cleanse the skin with aloe vera wipes. Protect the face with vitamin cleanser.
cover blemishes with color corrector. Accentuate facial features with color contour. Apply foundation. Brush eyebrows with powder and gel. Curl the eyelashes. Apply eyeliner. Apply eyeshadow and blend. Brush the eyelashes with mascara. Apply lip liner. Apply lipstick. Apply blush to the cheeks. Okay, so, so you, now you, you, you have a video that you can use for your class. You could use to, oh, <laughs> you could use to promote your class. You could use it in your class. Uh, you could put it on the internet. And also, that's not the end of it. You can take out little clips and put it in your school's learning management system. Uh, for At LUSD, we use Schoology for a variety of exercises. Let me show you real quick, okay? So I've broken up the clips, okay? Here's, a, here's something called makeup steps, okay, that I, I made with the video. Can everyone see my screen? Okay, so the video is here. I, I just took a part out of the video. I don't wanna play the whole video, just about a minute. And there's no sound, but the students are supposed to watch this video and put the steps that they see in the correct order. You see how you can drag these steps? Okay, so it's an ordering sequencing exercise. Okay, so I just took a portion of the video. And the cool thing is, look, the video can keep on playing while you move these steps into the order. Okay, so I'm gonna quit out of this. And here's another exercise that I'd made. I took little clips 
from that video along with the sound and created a matching exercise. So here are our video clips that are just a few seconds long. And I have four audio clips at the bottom. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. Okay, this is well, that was this is embarrassing. <laughs> okay, you know what? Uh what's supposed to happen is that uh there there are aud those audio clips and the student drags the clip next to the video to match to match what they see. Okay, th that is that's just irritating, you know, <laughs> technology, right? You know, I rehearsed that about uh, five times, you know, and it, it worked fine until until the time came to demonstrate. Doesn't that always happen? Okay, so hey, listen. Paul, Paul yeah. sorry. Um, so here's the chance to redeem yourself. Okay. So in Schoology, um, what's the, Cora is asking, what's the name of the exercise maker? Does that, does that activity have a name, that matching activity that we just saw? Yeah. Uh, let me show you. Yeah, first you create, you know, you create a, a lesson and then you choose matching here. Okay, you choose matching and then you can import a text, audio, video, pictures. Hey, look, it's, it's just slow. Okay, so you, you would put something here on the right. Like I, I clicked here. video player upload video and i put my youtube link here okay i put the so i put all the video on this side and i put the audio i'll click here and i put uh, i upload audio and then i would upload the mp3 here and then on the bottom you would set up the answers okay so that is uh really really irritating <laughs> I can't believe this. I did it like five times. Uh, really, is, is that for real? This is this is an outrage. But okay, so listen. What's next? Okay, let me let me uh, share my screen again. Uh, can, can you guys see my PowerPoint? Yes. No? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, what kind of videos can you make for your class? You can make a graduation video. You can make it. Uh, you can make a video of your students talking about their goals. Okay. You can make your students. You can make a video uh, with of your students talking about their challenges. Okay. You could have your students send you video clips that you put together, and put on your learning management system. <laughs> It's up to you, okay? The, 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 the possibilities are endless, okay? So what's next? Okay, I'm going to uh, put what I call the quick start guide into the chat, okay? So go to Blackmagic Design, download and install DaVinci Resolve. Okay, real easy. Follow this uh, quick start guide that I that I'm going to put in the chat for a, in a minute. Okay, look at the training resources. Start learning with an open mind. Okay, be fearless. Remember, try things. Don't you're not going to break anything. You can always undo. Okay, and practice. Okay, and uh, if you ever have any questions. Don't hesitate to contact me, okay? I'll be happy to hear from you, okay? Whether you're doing uh, uh, good or, or, or maybe, you know, you might be a little frustrated, reach out to me. Say, Paul, I don't get it, okay? And tell me why, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to help, okay? So right now, open your, your chat window. I'm, I'm going to put that document, the quick start guide, 
into, into the chat window so that you can download it, okay? All right. And one thing I wanted to show you uh, about that chat, about this. Uh... Okay, so look. Some of these links are highlighted, some aren't, but they all work. If, if I click on Black Magic Design, you know, it takes me not, not even to that front page, but right to the download page. Okay, see, here we go. Right? Download right here. Okay, we, we did not go to the homepage. So, so these links work, okay? So these are short, easy tutorials to get started, okay? These are links to those same videos that I showed you on the Black Magic Design website, but to the YouTube account instead. And this is really cool. Let me explain why. I'm going to click on this YouTube link. Okay, it's going to take me to those same videos, but instead of coming from the Black Magic Designs website, they're on YouTube. And why is this cool? Look. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm going to show more. Here, I can download the video files to follow along with the video, just like the website, but it breaks down what you're going to learn at what part of the video. So if you say, hey, I just want to figure out how to add a transition. I'm just going to click here and it's going to go Project. right. So I'm going to go out. It's going to go to that moment. Okay. So uh, that's, that's a really cool feature. All right. So, um, hey, <laughs> it's 429. I guess I could tell uh, the, the bosses at, uh, at O10. <laughs> that Anthony tell them Paul finished on time okay so okay that got, uh, okay un unmute right now and Anthony was kind enough to say that he wouldn't mind staying for a few more minutes because uh but right now it, it's the therapy session okay I hope you guys are feeling okay everybody take a deep breath I know I'm gonna have a happy hour drink after this that was a lot right let's be honest was that a lot uh, Gloria, was that a lot? How do you feel? I think it's doable. I just probably need to go step by step on that. Right. right. Gloria, it is doable because if you really paid attention to what I actually did, I just clicked and dragged things, right? Yeah. I clicked and dragged and adjusted things. There was no computer coding, nothing that was, right? When I flipped that video, remember, I used my uh, middle school uh uh, math, uh, 180 degrees, right? Yeah, that worked, right? And I grabbed transitions from the from the window and just dragged it right on top of my clip. I dragged the titles out, right? I copied. I didn't even do any typing. I copied and pasted from my Word document right into DaVinci Resolve. And so remember, it's like a Microsoft Word. I'm just going to choose my favorite font. I'm going to choose the size. I'm going to start typing. I'm going to you know, I want to choose middle align, left align, or right, and, and, and I'm done, right? You just use what you need. And if you want to get fancy, if you want to go Hollywood, if you want to do the really, really cool stuff, it's all possible, okay? Remember, what, what do they say? Uh, the journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step, okay? Just keep that philosophy in mind. Remember our grade school uh, uh, fairy tale, the, the tortoise and the hare, right? To keep all these, you know, uh, fundamentals in mind as you take your first step, you know, and uh, good luck, okay? Uh, remember, uh, this is a part of the amazing time that we live in that, that sometimes we forget about. Remember when we were growing up, there were only like four TV stations, right? ABC, NBC, CBS, and then your local station, right? Now you can make something and put it on YouTube and it could be viewed all over the world. So now this software sophisticated application that is being used at those fancy Hollywood studios that charge $500 an hour is available to you. This is the amazing time that we live in. And, it, and it's up to you whether you want to learn it or not. You know, you know what I'm saying? These tools are available to you. And if you choose to buy that, uh, 
if you choose to buy that uh the, the studio version which you don't really need the only thing that ad advantage it would have for you is that there are some more special effects like that beauty effect i used uh that's not going to be in the free version okay uh but the 3d stuff you, you know you don't need any of that okay so these same tools that are uh, that they're using to grade the avengers you know those big budget movies you can use I'm using to make my cosmetology video. You could use it to put together your student interviews. Okay. So, uh, you know, Anthony and I are here for three more minutes for questions. Any questions? Paul, I have a question. So, yeah. I know LAUSD is really, really careful about. Um, video release student signature. So, right. so what is the first. Are they signing some sort of permission granted yes. for you first? Yes, yes. And we in, in our school division, we have a we have a standard document. Yeah. You know, and students, they're happy to do it. There's never a problem. Okay. Know? And then you're taking your personal cell phone and you're right. putting it onto your Mac. Is your Mac a, a school? computer or is it a personal computer yeah it's my own it's my own ah okay okay because okay. i downloaded davinci the other day when i got the otan um email and it's all on the school computer that i oh, have. okay so okay. i just want to make sure that i'm not you know i i have to keep everything i don't want to put my personal cell phone onto my school computer <laughs> okay yeah i get it i get it so, so for recording, how would you recommend I would do that then? So you, you want to be very strict and keep, you know, your professional and private, you know, uh, things separate. So you're going to have to ask the school for a camera. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we see with, with Screencastify, I can record directly from that program. So there's no way you can record videos from this. No, you can, you can record with your screencast and bring that video file. There you go. There you okay. go. Excellent. There it is. That's what I needed. I need okay. some brain. Karen, usually those cameras are not that good. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. So get your administrator to buy a video camera for your school, okay? For your okay. faculty, for the, for the team. And, you know, for like uh, $1,500, you can get a, get a great camcorder these days. I mean, just superb, you know? Okay, 